In today's video, we find out what happens when all the bosses and NPCs meet inside of Fortnite Chapter 2 for the final time because Chapter 3 is going to be out very, very soon. So if you are new around here, as always, tap that subscribe button. Roughly 98% of you guys aren't subscribed. And also, don't forget to hit that like button. Let's try and go for a huge goal of 25,000 likes. I think we can do it in the long run. So tap that like button. Let's go for it. So the plan for today's video was to grab every single NPC and take them to a pit located just above the modern house inside of Pleasant Park. So you can see here from this little graph, I'm basically grabbing everyone. You get the idea, let's move on. So jumping into the video and it was time to start getting the NPCs and explaining what's gonna happen. So first off, I recruited a team of 11 people. I grabbed a bear, which is probably the best vehicle for this because it's good off-road, went to Catty Corner, refueled the bear and had it ready to go. Me and my teammate Super decided to start off over at the gas station at Dyer because he was the furthest NPC away, possibly from Pleasant Park. So we thought we'd take the most difficult task while our other members do some of the easy ones because this was not easy. Battle Labs has been reduced to two hours rather than four hours, so that already makes it super difficult. These videos are getting harder and harder every single season, and this method, as you can see here, was so painful. You have to literally fishing rod the NPC onto the car to then start to move them, and we would sit here for so long, sometimes we'd sit here for 20, 30 minutes trying to get them on the car, and they would get on, and simple crash like this, and the NPC falls off. So finally, after trying for about three minutes to get the NPC onto the actual car itself, we were ready to go. This was like our fourth attempt this day. I think we spent about eight hours trying to film this video just in one day, just to pull this off for you guys. So like I said, if you're new, subscribe, tap a like button as well. It really would mean a lot and appreciate the support over here and the content. So let's move in. Let's go. So we got Dyer, we got him on, and we decided to drive him through some of the terrain. It's difficult to drive, like I said, if you do crash, he will fall off. So luckily enough, we managed to get through as a team, and I would just simply wait for my teammate to clear obstacles. And when he clears the obstacles, we move in with Dyer very slowly, because if we hit anything and he touches that wood slightly, he's straight off the car and he's going straight back. Ooh, that was close. Going straight back home. After that, though, we decided to pick up Core as well, because we were confident enough that we could take multiple. And also, continuing on with Core, we had a lot of problems. Let me just explain some things that did happen in previous games. Caretakers. Yes, caretakers. Caretakers actually took out two of our NPCs in this game. We actually lost the hot dog NPC as well as the uh, special ops, I think it is, and also another one, Wrath, to caretakers before we even got to them. So that's a problem. There's nothing really we can do about that. You know, that would just generally take months and years to pull off to every single one physically because of the caretakers. So kind of just cancelling out caretakers because we can't do anything about them you can't eliminate them very easily in battle labs either because they're very glitchy we decided to move in and just kind of move in and just take these to the pleasant pit so you can see the pits up also pit stop on the way and the pleasant pit was just up here so what we do is we take them to the pit and we'd simply just put them in by fishing rod and so park up here my teammates will get them in and we're set to go so let's get these inside the pit so you can see here you go we get our fishing rods ready to go and we fishing rod them over just like this Dyer goes in and Pit Stop also goes slowly into the pit with a few fishing rods they eventually get in there. It takes a little bit of time. Sometimes the NPCs like to run away and they always like to run back home. So you've really got to stop that. Next up, an hour later, we had a few of the NPCs in the pit and we decided to pick up probably one of the more difficult NPCs and that was Fabio himself. He was also a difficult one to get, probably another one of the furthest ones away from the location. And at this point in time, we were actually doing pretty well for time. We had about 55 minutes left on the clock and majority of the NPCs in, still a few extras to grab and just little issues like this, for example, my controller disconnecting at that point and we lose Fabio. So there's another 20 minutes added on. Luckily enough, my teammate managed to save Fabio. We managed to fish and rod him back on pretty quickly and we had him head into the pit. And just check how many NPCs there are in here right now. Look at all these. This isn't even all of them yet. We've still got so many more to grab. We've got so many in there. So thank you everyone on my team that was helping out with this. So many people getting Ariana Grande, Tuna Fish, Scuba Jonesy, Charlotte, Core, Big Mouth, Madcap. Every single NPC is in there right now. Fable, there are so many in. 
and obviously Fabio is now in the pit as well. And we were set to go and grab our last few NPCs before the battle begins between them all. The final two NPCs I picked up in this game was Rust Lord and Kitpash, located over by Dirty Docks. I had them on my car, thank you to Warlock Ethan who helped me out with this one, and we managed to get these onto the car, and we were set to go to take these back to the destination over at Pleasant Park. And these were our final two. Again, being as careful as we can around the terrain, one little issue on any of the terrain, and these guys are falling straight off. Almost there they actually did fall off, so luckily enough, we actually managed to get them back on quite easily with some hill techniques. But yeah, we had them on, and we were set to go. So these NPCs were ready to go in the pit. We delivered them in nicely, and my team are set to go to pull these guys in and we were set for the battle so many npcs ready here and are ready to go for this this is insane these are our final two and we're going to check out what's going to happen when all of these do battle each other who's going to be the strongest npc and who's going to win the battle between the lot there's a lot in here so i can't wait to find out let's get them in in they go rustlord goes in the others go in and we are set to go all right here we go again so me and my teammate have positioned ourselves in a good spectate position and we were set to go to see what's going to happen when all of these battle each other all right let's jump into the replay and check it out because it's always better to see what's going on in the replay. So first off, you can see we're all lined up here ready to go, a bunch of our teammates, and all we needed was just one person to trigger the NPCs. So Mancate went in, he hit Ariana once, he also hit Dart Jonesy once, and Penny you can see here on the left, and the fight was to begin. The NPCs started spraying at each other, you can see up there we've got a few NPCs having a little battle up there. You can see Big Mouth taking out a few people. Big Mouth actually gets taken out right there nicely. You can see Dart Jonesy here on the right, it's going to be so hard to commentate, I'm going to try my best though for you guys. Dart Jonesy having a battle here with Kit Bash here. In the back you can see another one gets taken out there, Ember gets taken straight down. We've got Penny on the left there, got Madcap going for it. You've even got, oh, Fabio goes down right there. That's, and straight after Fabio, we've got Dart, Jonesy, Katashi, and Madcap that all go down in that little tree burst there. Charlotte and Rustlord also get eliminated. You can see the fight still continues with Penny holding on and takes down Kit, Kit Bash there. Mankit get eliminated here. We're going on over to the right side to see what happened to Fable over here on this right side. Let's see what was happening in this corner over here. You can see Ariana. We've gone back in time a little bit here. Ariana holding her ground against all of these empties. This is not good for her. You got a few people in there. You got Raven in there, taking it. Ariana gets taken down right there. That's pretty crazy. Over there and the right side you can see we've even got a battle going on between baba yaga tuna fish hit stop so many right here one of the geezers gets taken down there. i can't remember his skin name right now there's so much going on i'm trying my best another one goes down right there this is so crazy you see tuna fish comes in there goes chimpanzee he goes down tuna fish in the battle over here another one at the left going down right there dire raven goes down there on the right as well this is pretty crazy penny holding the ground in the center there goes the bunny as well i've forgotten his name at the moment in time there goes raven a little replay on the right side to see what exactly happened over here you can see they do respawn when they die and start dancing it's their invisible form you see pit stop goes down there by tuna fish tuna Tuna Fish gets eliminated there on the left. Baba Yaga holding her ground over here. And what even happened over here with Tuna Fish? Tuna Fish gets taken out. You can see we've got Ragsy in there versus Penny right now. Ragsy and Penny. Penny goes down as well. Another one goes down behind Penny as well. It looks like it was Core. And you can see Torrent is still alive. We've even got Scuba Jonesy still alive. And Ragsy as well as i believe baba yaga so these are the last four remaining inside of this battle you can see ragsy going for torrent here on the right side ragsy missing a few shots torrent also missing a few shots they're trying to get out of the pit but struggling to do it torrent actually takes the elimination there on ragsy nice and easily you got baba yaga over here with scuba jonesy left in this corner baba yaga and torrent actually aiming at each other right now well torrent actually aiming at baba and baba aiming at scuba interesting battle between these two a lot more slower pace now because we have headed towards the end only three remain you you see Babiaga trying to hit Torrin, actually missing a few shots. What is Torrin aiming for? Oh, she's aiming for the Manke. He's gone in again to try and get them to hit each other. And actually, Scuba Jonesy looks like he takes the elimination there on Babiaga. Let's just watch the replay. Yes, he does. He does take out Babiaga. So, best third place to Babiaga. Torrent and Scuba Jonesy remain in this 1v1 standoff right now. Who's going to win between these? You can see Scuba Jonesy and Torrent actually missing a lot of shots at each other. Both using the P90 here, getting that advantage with the fast fire rate. You see, in this left side over here, what have we got? What have we got? Oh, Scuba Jonesy goes for it. Torrent getting a few hits. And Torrent takes the W, the Battle Pass skin from the season. Good win there for Torrent on that boss beat. That was insane. I did not expect that to happen. That was so crazy, guys. If you guys enjoyed the content, don't forget to go and pop in code POST your item shop. That's POST. And don't forget to go and play 50 Fashion, my fashion show map, inside the fashion tab on Discover. 50 Player Fashion Show. Join in. You guys will love it.